New tonight, low temperatures mean your energy bill may be more expensive than usual. Taylor Lumpkin has ways to help you pay for those high bills. As the temperatures drop this winter, your normal response would be to turn up your heat. But this time around, it could cost you. I took an overtime shift today at work that I normally wouldn't have taken because uh, it's like, well, this will pay. This will help me pay this month's electricity bill. Recently, people across Wisconsin, including right here in Milwaukee, have been receiving higher than normal energy bills and have taken to social media to air their frustrations. And I clicked on the email and looked at it and saw that it was about um, $458, which was like, <laughs> way more than what it uh, typically is. The most I had in the winter was probably like $87. And then December came and it shot up like a hundred and some dollars. But officials say this energy spike was coming. What's driving these uh, high heating bills this winter is the natural gas cost, which is really a worldwide issue. There just wasn't enough natural gas that was produced uh, during the coronavirus because there wasn't enough need. And then once that need increased so greatly in the past year or so, there wasn't enough supply, so prices have gone up. So what can you do to keep your bills low this winter? Turn down your uh, thermostat, put on you know, a sweater or a blanket, um, and when it's sunny out, open those shades. Let Mother Nature heat your house. Governor Tony Evers also unveiled an election year plan that would send $150 to every Wisconsin resident, which could be used to help pay high energy bills. Whether it's buying bacon in the grocery store or paying for electrical bills, the $150 will, will make a difference. Residents can also apply for energy assistance through the Home Energy Plus program or the Keep Wisconsin Cool Warm Fund if they need help paying for heat. In Milwaukee, Taylor Lumpkin, TMJ4 News.